and we okay, somebody, yep, there's a dick. Recording this and there's a naked man walking in front of my window on the beach. Sick. Welcome to Hito. <laughs> outside of my comfort zone and this is definitely that. Very nervous but also excited to, to be naked. Hey! No turning back. We made it! I dyed my hair purple last week and now it looks red and it matches my bathing suit. Greetings from Jamaica. I am currently in Negril, Jamaica at Hedonism 2, which is a clothing optional swingers resort, basically. I am here for work because I am a sex writer, but I'm a prude sex writer. To be completely honest, I was extremely nervous walking into this place. Didn't really know what to expect. All I knew was that people might approach me to have sex with me. And I was gonna see a lot of naked people. So far, nobody has approached me, but probably because I'm very standoffish and cold, so people don't feel comfortable approaching me. And the one person who did approach me stood next to me and stared at my tits because I had no bathing suit top on. Yeah, that was fun. Very awkward. Anyway, so yeah, this place is super cool. Um, there's a prude side and a nude side. Prude side is clothing optional and the nude side you have to have no anything on. I don't feel comfortable being on the nude side so I haven't made the trek over there and I'm not planning to at all. Um, I'm way, okay, somebody, yep, there's a dick. Recording this and there's a naked man walking in front of my window on the beach. Sick. Welcome to Hedo. I'm in the off season right now, so the couples who are here are old, but they're definitely restoring my faith and love, and I've never seen more adorable old people with barely any clothes on, dancing together, having sex. Definitely never even seen that in general, so that's a thing, but aside from that, definitely out of my comfort zone a bit, but this is really cool, and I'm happy to experience it. Would definitely like to come back here with a partner though because I think I would get more of the full effect rather than being here as a single professional. Um, but yeah, I'm off to go learn how to jerk. And by that, I mean I'm about to participate in some cooking lessons about how to make like jerk chicken and stuff. Not even eat meat, so this should be cool. I like this lighting, I need this back home. Okay, so this is the view outside my room. It's nice. It's cloudy right now, but it's nice. Okay. Fuck, I'm running late. I gotta go learn how to jerk. Bye. Yeah, uh, jerk. And basically, jerk. It's gonna be made with avocado. <laughs> or you can get it so hot that we're. <laughs> it is. Thank you. <laughs> yes. We won! We won. I mean, you won first place. But you won shared first place. It did, but we also both won. It's true, I won third place. We're all winners here. We're not all winners, but we're both winners. <laughs> Go ahead. Thanks for watching Mandy Heat is the highlight. Thank you. you. Okay, so final thoughts. This is the last night that we're here on the press trip and it's midnight and I'm out later than I've been all of these past four nights. I'm a grandma. There are people who have had private squirting lessons. There are people who go into the nude pool and just immediately rip off their clothes and hang out with strangers and make friends. And I have gone to bed every single night 
around 11 o'clock. The food was really good. I won the cooking competition, which is super cool. Right now it's September and I hear that September is definitely an off season because of hurricanes and the week that we're here is a culinary and wellness week. There's such an eclectic mix of people here and they're all so welcoming, so kind. I met people who have gotten married here. I met people who have gone on their second date here. And I met people who have been coming here for decades. My biggest takeaway from all of this is that Okay, I'll try this again. My biggest takeaway from this is that I'm prude. <laughs> Plain and simple, I am by far the most prude person on this trip. The most wild thing that I did was go topless on the prude side of the beach. I never stepped foot onto the nude beach, which is probably bad for journalism. I probably should have forced myself to go outside of my comfort zone and I didn't feel comfortable enough. I respected my own boundaries and I'm happy about that. This is definitely the place for you if you are looking for a new experience, if you're looking for a clothing optional tropical resort, if you're interested in coming here and meeting new sexual partners, if you're looking to just open your eyes and get a new perspective on bodies and our perception of our bodies, you can go on their website and look at their rotating calendar of events and groups that come here. They're all different types of events going on that cater to a bunch of different lifestyles and interests. So find one that aligns with yours and check it out for yourself. Okay, it's midnight, I'm tired. I have to get up early in the morning for a flight back home to New York, so bye. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments, questions, whatever, feel free to drop them in the comments below or slide into my DMs on Twitter and Instagram at Morgamandriana. Also, I'm writing two stories about this experience, one for Betches.com and another for Health.com. I'll drop the links to the articles in the description below if you want to read. Also hit that like and subscribe button because that's what all the cool YouTubers say. And yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna head out to go back home. Bye guys.